Hi, hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will talk about how to overcome ISI in case of wireless channel. When the design of 4G was thought of, the main goal was to increase the data rate. For that, we wanted to have a scalability in terms of bandwidth. So the bandwidth was increased to 10 megahertz. But when a such a when such a large bandwidth is used, it was observed that the channel conditions the channel response was not flat for the complete 100 megahertz the reason was there was a severe isi why because when the bandwidth is increased the symbol duration was reduced to a very low value when compared to that of the delay spread this delay spread is coming into picture because of wireless channel and when there is a multipath components right so the severe the severe isi happens when symbol duration is much smaller than the delay spread and there would be very less CSI when symbol duration will be of very large compared to that of the delay spread. So intuitively as per this diagram let's say if we divide the entire bandwidth into sub bands then we can see that for this sub band the channel looks flat right that is in fact true when we divide this entire bandwidth into sub band of a smaller bandwidth let's say 100 kilohertz the sub -band, the sub band size is let's say 100 kilohertz then the symbol duration is increased to 10 microseconds which is actually greater than the delay which is greater than the delay spread so these two, these strategies can be used to reduce the severe isi but the question is how to implement this sub band logic so that it is feasible less costly and it will be practically possible the main concept which i had explained here is related to single carrier system where we wanted to transmit the entire 10 megahertz over a single carrier okay so but this subband concepts introduce what is known as multi carrier system so to understand that first let us look into uh, the sub carrier system how up conversion and down conversion circuits are implemented so in case of single carrier system i will mainly focus on up conversion and down conversion so let's say this is a xp of t is the time domain baseband signal having a frequency response as shown here whose frequency response is centered around dc so to this if i multiply with an exponential component this will this is equivalent to performing the up conversion and the spectrum would be shifted to center frequency fc this is as per the basic properties of a fourier transform so i will not consider the further tx block or rx block let us say the signal is reached at here this will be similar to that of this one so when an exponential when an exponential quantity of this is multiplied with the incoming signal the down conversion will happen basically you know this and this gets cancelled and i will get back my xp of t okay so how to implement this in circuit because this is a complex quantity right we cannot have any device which will produce a complex signal so the hardware device will produce the real signal so one of the proposal is to take the real part of this so when i take the real part of this let's say this is real then the real of this is cos omega ct that can be implemented using the local oscillator producing the carrier frequency fc now i can use an rf mixer which will multiply xb of t and cos omega ct and we'll get a spectrum we'll get a signal at this point which is xb of t into cos omega ct i will take this as a black box and let's say i will i will get the signal which is similar to the top xp of t and cos omega ct when here also i will take the real part of uh, uh, this exponent which is cos omega ct so then what i get here is this signal multiplied by cos omega ct so if you multiply and take the fourier transform you will see that the spectrum at this point would look like this okay so is this still sufficient is this still uh, you know getting back me xb of t no because there are high frequency components here so to eliminate high frequency component 
an extra low pass filter is required where it will filter out all high frequency components and it will give me only XP of T as shown here. So this is the equivalent operation for the critical mathematical calculation shown here. I hope uh, this up conversion and down conversion logic is very clear. The top one is with respect to uh, the theory or the mathematical expression. The bottom one is the practical uh, concept which will be implemented using hardware. Now, based on that logic, we will try to see in the upcoming videos what design can be considered to implement this subband logic or multi carrier system and which approach would be more feasible to implement. Note that even though we are implementing subband logic, let's say uh, the subband size of 100 megahertz doesn't mean that it will produce the data rate of 100 mbps sorry 100 kbps implementation should still produce the data rate which is equivalent to that of the bandwidth of 10 megahertz with that is 10 mbps the data rate should be 10 mbps so such a kind of strategy should be applied uh, in order to produce the data rate of 10 mbps so for that we will see what logic or what strategy to be applied in the upcoming videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye bye. Please do subscribe.